Hey friend, last year I uploaded a video all about the design handoff part of the process and so many of you enjoyed this video and told me how helpful it was. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback on that video and because of that, I wanna dive deeper into how to effectively hand off your designs to engineering and this time, I'm gonna show you how to do it using Zeppelin. Okay, so we know that the handoff part of the design process is important. Engineers are going to be relying on your documentation of the design in order to effectively implement the design into a final product. Ideally, we have a design source of truth. And in the past, I've created design source of truths in Figma itself, but this can get a little bit messy. You might have multiple versions of the file and it can be difficult for non-designers to navigate a design interface. Now you may have heard of Zeppelin. Zeppelin may be well known for providing effective and efficient handoff solutions from design to engineering. But in addition to that, it's also great for elevating your design to development workflow. Zeppelin lets you publish your finalized design to the Zeppelin workspace so that everybody knows what is the final source of truth. It also provides a collaboration layer on top of your design so that non-designers can come in and collaborate without that design interface that might be holding some of them back. Lastly, Zeppelin also allows you to scale your design system to the development world. And we're gonna take a look at that soon. Here I am inside of Zeppelin and I've gone ahead and created a project. Now we need to export our designs into Zeppelin. I have my designs in Figma, so I'm gonna switch over to Figma here. And I've also downloaded the Zeppelin plugin, which you can find on the Figma community or on the Zeppelin website. And the first thing we wanna do is select the frames that we want to export over into Zeppelin. I'm gonna select a couple here for now, but you can select as many as you need. And then on the right hand side here, go over and click on export. And that's going to inspect the elements first before allowing you to then select a pro Project that you want to export them into. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my workspace here and here is my newly untitled project that I just created that I want to upload my designs into. By publishing these designs to Zeppelin, I'm signaling to the team that this is the final handoff, the final screens and source of truth. In addition to doing that, I'm also free to continue iterating and designing over in Figma and later on resync back to Zeppelin if I need to. So this way it's really clear to my engineers which are the final screens. You'll also see before I click export here that there's an an option to enter a commit message. This is an easy way to manage iterations and changes to different versions of the design. So with Zeppelin, I'm sort of in control each time I want to push my designs into Zeppelin, it's kind of like a new version. And with that, I can add a commit message just to give context to that new version that I'm pushing into Zeppelin. So let's say for this one, I'm going to say updates since last design review and click on export. If we jump into Zeppelin, you'll see here, I have this project CRM, and within this project, I have three different files, and each of these files represents a different form factor. So I have the web app that we just uploaded, the iPhone app, and the tablet version as well. And if I click into one of these, you'll see that there's also sections within inside each of these. So here, there's a section for authentication, created another section here for dashboard, tasks, and so on. So with sections, I can take collections of different screens from Figma and organize them here into sections that kind of act like nested structures. This makes it really easy for someone on the team to come in and see how the different screens are organized, connected, and how they fit together. So this project here now kind of acts as my source of truth. Basically, what I'm saying to my engineers is that the designs within here are kind of locked or final. So that kind of eliminates the back and forth necessary between designer and engineer to clarify where in the design tool or the design file the final screens are. Okay, so within here, there's a lot of different things I can do. First of all, I can create a share link and share this with anyone necessary. I can also add a description. So maybe you have some context that you wanna to add to this particular file. Next, I can integrate it with a lot of different tools like Slack or Jira, meaning you can actually 
link some of the screens in here to specific Jira tickets, which is pretty cool. And you can also invite different members into this if you wish. Because I've integrated Jira into this file, I can actually filter on different Jira tickets. So for example, let's say I wanna see the screens relevant to this ticket. I can easily click and filter between the different tickets and see which screens are relevant to which tickets. Okay, let's go ahead and click on one of these screens here. And as I do so, and as I kind of move my mouse around this design, you can immediately see padding and margin between different elements that are within this particular screen design. Goodbye to redlining. I've spent so much time in my design tool manually creating the red lines as you saw in my last video. So this eliminates that whole task, which as a designer is gonna save you a lot of time. There's also a few different things I can toggle between. So here we're currently looking at the info related to this screen and I can create a share link specifically to this screen if I want to. Over here, I can see the colors that are being used in this screen. This one shows me any assets and I can also download them from here like icons or illustrations illustrations, for example. And then lastly, there's also the ability to leave notes and collaborate. Another neat thing is over here in info, I can also add tags to a screen. So I actually have a few tags here set up already. For example, one tag I have is ready for development and I might assign this tag to a particular screen when it's ready for engineering. I can also create other tags, like maybe there's a tag for like blocked on design. So we might assign that tag to a particular screen. If for example, we've realized that there is still some work required on the design side and I need to go ahead and make an update and push it back here into Zeppelin. So let's imagine that I need to update something in here. We can tag it with blocked on design. Then if I go back here to the file, you can also filter on these different tags. So if I click on blocked on design, you can see all of the screens that have that tag. Likewise for ready for development. Back to our screen here, you'll also see that if I click on individual elements on the screen, it will actually give us some code and CSS properties related to that individual element. This way you can see all the specs related to that element, whether it's linked to a component or the shadows or colors or any sort of CSS properties. I'm gonna to switch to the desktop app version of Zeppelin for a second because there's one really neat feature in the desktop app that I think is really great for designers and that is the ability to pop out the screen and overlay it onto your design. So for example, let's say I was queuing the current implementation that Angel are working on and I just wanna check that things are aligned and implemented correctly. I can actually create a pop out of this screen and you can see it's got like an opacity layer on here. And what I would do is I would go over into the sort of staging or like demo environment and overlay this on top of what Engine building, just to get a sense of visually, it would be helpful to see where things are maybe a little bit misaligned or not quite pixel perfect. Now I wanna show you style guides in Zeppelin. So if I go ahead and select the screen and then select this button here, you'll see that it has this little blue label, which means that this particular element is linked to a component. That way, when Eng are navigating your screens in Zeppelin, they can easily see which elements are actually linked back to the design system. And by clicking on this component here, I now can see some extra additional properties for this element. So I can see the name of this component, and I can also see the properties that have been set. In this case, I can see it is set to the default state and I'll show you soon that there's other states for this button as well. If I go ahead and click on these uh, three dots here, you'll see it'll open a pop-up with the actual original component for this button. So here you can see the visual design of the default and I can switch to the other states like hover, pressed and also disabled. So immediately from within here, Engineers can know exactly which elements are linked to a component and then also look at the properties of that component and different variants of that component as well. Let's go ahead now and click through to this button and this is gonna open up the style guide. So here we have our whole design system inside Zeppelin as a style guide. And not only do we have elements here, but we can also have things like colors or textiles or even spacing and layout. We can connect our design components to the components in the code base. For example, if I go back to our button component and select it here, you'll see down here the code properties for this particular component. 
And now this means that whenever Eng need to implement this component into a screen, they don't need to create this component from scratch. They can come here and use the code that has been classified here in Zeppelin. I do recommend reaching out to one of your engineers to help set up these connected components because you are going to need access to your company's code base in order to set these up correctly. Find an engineer who's really passionate about this Eng to design sort of handoff and workflow to come over and give you a hand. Style guides in Zeppelin help extend the value of a design system by bringing it into the engineering world. No longer is your design system sitting statically in Figma, but you can actually bring it to life with code right in Zeppelin. Before we wrap up, I want to show you some of the collaborative features as well. If we go back to the screen here, you can see that there's actually a note on the screen, which I left for myself <laughs> 10 days ago. But what is really great is that you can leave notes on specific parts of the design and you can actually color code them as well, which means it gives you a little bit more control later on. Maybe you have a lot of different notes. You can actually filter on notes by color uh, and you might want to assign different colors to different kinds of notes as well, just to sort of help you keep it organized and managed. Lastly, Zeppelin also has version history. And now remember those commit messages we were talking about earlier? Here's where they come in really handy. If I open up the version history for this screen, I can see different versions that have been uploaded from Figma into Zeppelin and any commit messages that were also left. So in this case, on April 14th, I re-uploaded the screen from Figma and this was the commit message that I left. So having these commit messages makes it really clear what changes are happening between each version of the uploaded design. Okay, friend, so many of you have been asking me about Zeppelin and I hope that this walkthrough shows you the power of Zeppelin and how you can use it as a collaborative layer on top of your handoff and also as a really, really clear source of truth saying to your engineers, here is the final design. No longer do engineers and even non-engineers, other members of your team have to sort of navigate around your design tool and try to figure out where the latest and greatest work is. It's all here in Zeppelin. Are there any other design tools you'd like to see me walk through? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in another video. Bye.